We have heard a lot of Rob to Riches stories, either in movies, dramas, or magazines. A maid turns to a princess, and nobody turns to a somebody. Yeah, it sounds clinch, but it really happens in real life. Meet just Dado Banatao, who's said to be the Bill Gates of the Philippines. A Filipino with an innovative mind. A man who used to walk barefoot along the dirt roads of his hometown. Has the humblest of beginning. Now establish a name in tech industry. He is the person behind two things that can be found in every personal computer we see today. The PC chipset and the Windows graphic accelerator chip for PCs. This serves as a breakthrough for science and technology, not just for the Philippines, also for the whole world. But he did not start the way we could imagine. My name is Dado Banatao. I come from the north. My father was a farmer. I am an engineer. I grew up in a typical barrio in Cagayan Valley. Back then, there was no electricity, no telephones. I was taught math by moving bamboo sticks. There were no luxuries. Almost all of my classmates stopped going to school after sixth grade to help in the fields. But my father never asked me to help him. He wanted a better life for me. He made it clear his job was to keep food on the table. My job was to study. I went to high school far from my home. I felt inferior to the other students. They were from the city. I was the son of a farmer. While my friends played basketball, I studied. I fell in love with engineering. I wanted to build things. But when I graduated from Mapua, there were no design jobs for engineers in the Philippines. So, I moved to America. I applied for a master's in engineering at Stanford University. I was excited, but I was also so intimidated. Everyone seemed smarter than I was. So I studied twice as hard. I saw an opportunity to design better computer chips, and I started a company. That company failed. No one told me that I could do it. I had to tell myself that I could. And so I tried it again. This time, we succeeded. My success is a direct result of my beginnings. It is the same will and determination that every Filipino possesses. Our country is one of the fastest growing economies in Asia. But over 30% of our people still live like I did growing up. But my life shows a different path is possible. It is why I started PhilDev. We imagine a Philippines where every school has internet, where deserving students are given scholarships so they never have to stop learning, where thousands of young Filipinos start companies that hire 
millions more. We know hardship. It's time we learn success. I am not so special, but I am determined. My story could be your story. As Filipinos, it must be our story. As a Filipino, I am proud to have a kababayan like Mr. Dado Benatao. His contributions to science and technology made a great impact to the society we have now. Thanks to his 16-bit microchip set, we can use computers with satisfactory speed compared to before. He also serves as an inspiration for us to achieve higher and a motivator that tells us to work harder. For all his success, he never forgot his humble beginning. He always kept his feet on the ground. In fact, he has Salvador and Rosita Foundation in honor of his parents. And he also provides multiple scholarships for students involved in science and technology. With this, it's not difficult to imagine a future where there are more Dado Benatao who will also have a great impact to our society. Besides, there are now government policies supporting science and technology in our country. Like Republic Act 8439, Magna Carta for Scientists, Engineers, Researchers, and Other Science and Technology Personnel in Government. Republic Act 7687, Science and Technology Scholarship Act of 1994. Republic Act 7459, Inventors and Inventions Incentives Act. And Republic Act 8293, the Intellectual Property Code of the Philippines. So hopefully, on the future, our country will rise along with other country in the world. Yes, I'm just a mere student. But after learning about his contributions to today's world, I realized that no, I am not just a mere student. I am also a daughter to my parents, a sister to my brother, a friend, a classmate, a future teacher, and a part of the society. I can also be like Mr. Banatao and live an impact to the society. I am a Filipino and I'm proud of Mr. Dado Banatao.